Okay, Sunday, today's the 27th, Yahoo! Um, it's some ungodly hour of the morning, just before 10 o'clock, and we're off down to the Burdekin uh, to see Thel, um, who's working down there as a cane haul out operator. But, so, we'll take a few photos and things along the way, make a little movie when I get home, and uh, hopefully that'll be... I just thought I'd um, get the camera going, there was a grass fire out this way last week. It's terribly dry up here at the moment. Um, and you can see, uh, it's like we're just near, near the crematorium. Uh, we just, yeah, yeah, we're just not going down that road. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see how dry it is. I'll just go ahead and you can see it's not really very green at all. We've had um, very, very little in the way of rain recently. We're praying for it. Um, rain dances for it, swearing at the gods for it, blaming the council because of it, um, yeah, well, which we think is pretty fair. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd show you that. A little bit further down the road is the Billabong, um, which is a wildlife park, and there's the, the huge crop um, that they have there. That was actually modelled on a crocodile that was in, in the Billabong there. Um, as, well, not an exhibit, but as a crocodile. I thought you'd find that interesting. Okay, well we've reached the Horton River, which we've crossed, and now we're on Upper Horton Road. Rob's just calling Thel to let her know, so she'll meet us when we get to where we're going, which is the old Burdekin Agricultural College. Um, yeah. Okay, just driving along Upper Horton Road. Um, this is where they do a lot of cane growing down in the Burdekin, and you can see the cane. They've got to get a lot of. They've got to get it all cut before. It pours rain on them. Oh yeah, here we come. There's some um that's a, that's a haul out truck. So you know they they get the cane bins on the back and they go along beside the cane cutter and uh, get filled up and then they bring them down and bung them on the rails here so that the little cane train engine can come along and grab them and take them away to the mill. Cane that's been dealt with over there. Right. Um, new cane being planted and growing over there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, look, cane train full of empty bins. There you go. So for all of you who've never seen a cane train before, there's one with there's the empty bins and um, there's the engine going along. There you go. Something new ever. Oh. Time to go home now, what's it, uh, just gone uh, almost half past two. Um, we've been and seen and uh, been around the ridges, some of the stuff I can't show you because it's on private property, um, so, but, but they'll want some photos, so yeah, put that. And uh, we had lunch at the cafeteria there, and uh, I'll tell you what, their steak is very, very good. They had some sausages, uh, plum, was it chili plum? Yes. Chili plum sausage, absolutely delightful. Um, and uh, their meat is very, very well prized. What the hell's this thing? It's I would say it's a cane, cane harvester going up the road. There you go, he's all folded up and going home somewhere. But, um, back to the thing. Uh, yeah, so we'll be going down to visit Fell again, I think, and have lunch there and grab some meat. Um, yeah. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Nothing much else. That'll do for today.